Hey Aaron, how's it going? Good, glad to be here. We've heard plenty about your research. So before we get into that, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? So I am a research faculty member in Sierra. I actually spend half of my time in Sierra and the other half with the Research Computing Services Group in NUIT. Over there, I'm a senior data visualization specialist. In Sierra, in addition to my research, I run a summer undergraduate research program. It's called an REU program. It's funded by the National Science Foundation. We bring in a group of about 10 students every year from all across the country to work at Northwestern with Northwestern faculty and staff. And I also uh, develop visualizations for the Sierra group and for the, the university at large. And I should also say I'm leading a group right now in Sierra where goal is to improve mentorship in Sierra. So I have a real passion for um, mentoring students and improving the mentoring structure throughout Sierra. I've been at Northwestern for about 11 and a half years. And so I started as a Lindheimer postdoctoral fellow. I was actually like, I think within the first postdoc cohort that Sierra had back when Sierra was just starting. So I've, it's been fun watching Sierra grow over the years. After that, I was a NSF postdoctoral fellow. Uh, now, like I said, I'm research faculty. Yeah, so your journey has been a really long one and you're also inspiring uh, new generations, which is awesome. Do you recall uh, what it was like when you decided to be in those same shoes that they're in right now? I try to and like as I get further and further away from there, I try to keep remembering what it was like. And I always try to tell people and, and students to try to focus on the process. Like you said, it has been a, a long journey, but it's been enjoyable because I enjoy what I do every day because I get to you know work with these great people I get to you know, solve problems and I get to be creative. Even going back to high school, that's what I always wanted to do. Um, and I think what inspired me even back then was I had one really excellent physics teacher in high school and that inspired me to try physics in college. And when I went to college, I took an astronomy course because it seemed kind of like adjacent to physics and just kind of fell in love with that. And, and just also the visual aspect of it and how beautiful it is and the, uh, you know, attempt to explain all the amazing things that happen in the universe. I just kept pursuing that and, and you know, still today, trying to make it better, trying to understand more things and, and still excited about it. Now, now that you're here, do you have anything that you're really excited about? Um, especially when you reflect back on how long it's taken you to get to where you are right now. What are you currently working on? I was fortunate enough to have a research grant awarded recently to continue some of the work that I've been doing, but this in particular is studying binary stars and star clusters. A binary star is, are two stars that live together. They orbit around each other. Imagine the sun and the earth as just two objects, but now replace the earth with another star and you would have binary star systems. And it turns out that that's one of the primary ways that stars form. They don't often form individually, they form as two or more, um, and sometimes those two are close enough together that they're in binary stars. And those binary stars often are born within larger families that we call star clusters. So these can be groupings of hundreds to thousands of hundreds of thousands of stars. What I study, I study how those systems change with time. Each star individually changes with time, and the cluster, the star cluster as a whole will change in time, the structure, how many stars live in there. So I have the, uh, a project started now that is looking at the light from stars in star clusters and trying to pick out which one of those are binary stars through a photometric method, which is a little different from what I used to do before um, using velocities. But the point is that I'm trying to understand um, how stars are born, how they change with time, and how this varies across our galaxy. Let me say what I'm also really excited about is all the visualizations that, that I get to do. Two of the really exciting Sierra-based visualizations that I've been working on, one is with the LIGO group, the Gravitational Wave group. It's a website, it's interactive, and you can look at all of the masses of all the black holes that they've discovered. So these are, you know, black holes that live very far away from us, but they've been discovered through the ripples in space-time, through gravitational waves, as they spiral into each other and merge. And the other really exciting visualization I've been working on with uh, grad student Alex, Alex Gervich is called Firefly. It is a multi-purpose, interactive 3D particle viewer. So if you have any data set that has positions for individual objects, like for instance, many stars in a star cluster or many particles of gas within a, within a galaxy, you can put it into our Firefly 
um, tool, be able to rotate it around, be able to zoom in, zoom out, change colors. You can even do it in Google Cardboard so you see it in VR. It's a very exciting project with, that I've really enjoyed working on. You've been able to integrate a creative you know, component to the work you do. And speaking of which, we, we heard that you work on music um, outside of your research. Do you want to tell us a little bit of that, about that? Yeah, so you might be wondering what that music is in the background, and that is my music, um, and hopefully you like it. <laughs> uh, so I, that's not the only style of music that I do, but that's one style that I really like. I've played piano since I was five years old. I took lessons all until I, I left for college, and after that I started playing guitar, and I've just been, you know, playing music, and I you know, recommend to everyone to, to learn a little bit of music. It really enriches your life. When I went to grad school in the University of Wisconsin, we had a band in our astronomy department with you know, me and, and a couple other people. One of them I still play with regularly. He actually is from the Chicago area, um, and we both moved back here after grad school. We still play occasionally, and we normally play like blues and, and rock music and covers. We've been getting into the Grateful Dead recently, doing a lot of Grateful Dead covers. But this music you're listening now is, is mostly um, electronic, me on keyboards and, and some drum tracks. And, you know, it's just fun to play around. You know, as, as long as we're talking about being creative and, you know, other sides other than research, you know, I love the science, but I also like the art and the beauty of, of astronomy. And, and I did pursue an art degree when I was in um, undergrad. I came out with an art minor. I've loved painting. And drawing, uh, I don't have as much time for painting now, so mostly my art is like drawing daily doodles for my girls, for my kids. But I still try to keep it up, and, and it's been great being able to bring in that art and that creative aspect into my work through the visualizations that I do at Sierra and in IT. Actually, in our past Sierra Spotlight, uh, we had Charlie talking about um, his time with the clarinet. So it sounds like scientists are definitely in a bunch of different buckets and that you guys don't shy away from your creative side. Now thinking um, about, you know, your journey, like, do you plan on doing anything with all this in the future? Like, what are your next steps right now? Well, right now, I'm really excited about getting this new research project off the ground. I'm currently right now in the process of hiring a postdoc and I'll have undergraduates working with me on this project in the next few years. And I'm also really excited about all the new undergraduates that we're going to have in our in our REU program over the next you know many years. So I'm looking forward to continuing to do that. And of course, all the fun and, and creative and interesting visualizations and animations and movies that we might come out with to help myself and other Sierra researchers to explore their data and also to share it with a wider audience. And I just, you know, looking forward to continuing on the journey. Now that you've mentioned uh, you're excited for undergrads to come in, uh, for anybody who's coming into science, uh, anybody considering astronomy as a career path, uh, what kind of words of advice can you give them? My biggest advice is to get involved in research as early as you can. Taking classes is very important and doing well in classes is important, but the getting involved with the research that a faculty member of Sierra or a postdoc in Sierra um, is doing will really give you that authentic experience of what it is like to be an astronomer or a physicist or whatever science you want to do. Get involved in some research so you know know what it's like and that'll help you make the decision, make an informed decision really about what you want to do with your career. Well, thank you so much, Aaron, for joining us again. Uh, we love learning about you. We're excited to see what, what comes next for you. Thanks, it was great being with you. You too.